Good afternoon. Welcome back to Markets of Sunshine. This is Marcia. Thank you for joining me here on my channel today. This is a quick video, Sunday share, 10 minute tip rolled all into one. I usually do those Monday and Tuesday, but I'm going to share this with you today. I thought this would be something fun, just quick and easy. And just to show you, it's an Anna Griffin shutter card, but I had had someone ask me about how do I take sentiments that has words on it that we don't want or that we don't use and in my case if it says birthday or a holiday that I don't celebrate but I still have those sentiments or it could be even be a, a stamp but I just like if it says happy birthday I just cut the birthday part off and <laughs> I keep the happy you know and then you could take your anniversary and you have your happy stamp and you have your anniversary stamp and then you can make a sentiment out of that and make a card out of that and but in this video I'm going to show you how do you take a sentiment that already has happy whatever that you don't want and replace it with the words that you do want using your stamps okay so here we go quick and easy let's get on with the tutorial hi welcome back to markets of sunshine today is just a quick Sunday share video and I've made two anniversary cards and I wanted to show you how easy it is to use an embellishment that has a sentiment that you don't like and replace it with something that is the occasion that you're celebrating. So I have taken this happy birthday wish sentiment and changed it to a happy anniversary sentiment. And all I had to do was to stamp using a wording that would fit into this embellishment so that's something you want to keep in mind if because there's might be some that are giant letters and you want some that are smaller so the smaller you can go the better so on this one it was on the belly band because i decided i wanted a different sentiment for each card and then on the inside so this is a shutter card so this was another birthday wish so i put anniversary and I just stamped it cut it out it didn't matter you could actually see that it's actually wider but that's okay because when you open and close this kind of a card it looks beautiful the word anniversary is shown and the fact that it extends past that main piece doesn't matter so that's the first one and I love this kit it's an Anna Griffin shutter card kit and then I used one of the die cuts on the envelope as well. So that one's for my daughter and son-in-law who just celebrated their sixth anniversary. And then this is going to another couple. So this one just says on this special day. That can be for any occasion. So for their anniversary, oops, oops, oops. Okay, the adhesive. I used the tape runner on here. And as we can see, let me push it over. All right, so I'm going to use a little bit of tacky glue. Not much. Okay, push that back in place. When I make these, I usually do the tacky glue. And this time I said, oh, let me go ahead and try the double stick tape, double sided tape, but uh, as you can see. Okay, now let's try that again. So when we open it up, sending anniversary wishes, the same little sentiment, it said birthday, quick and easy to do. Stamp it on cardstock, try to match as close as you can to the color that is of the sentiment, which I didn't have anything that light, but this is perfectly fine. And it just all blends in, but it's so pretty. Isn't that pretty? Just look at that. I mean, it's just outstanding, the, the beauty of it. So now what I did um, on the belly band of this other one I wanted to show you is I added 
and then I do the same thing on this envelope as well. It just put the die cut flower on the front of that so then I'll write their name. And then on the back of this is a beautiful cream colored blank card that comes with um, Anna Griffin kits. Not all of them come with these, but um, I believe it came with the spinner card kit, but I used it for here. I can't remember if it was for these as well. It may have come with this kit. I just can't remember. So, but on this one, I brought my little liquid pearls just to kind of dress up this outside edge of this wording. Isn't that pretty? So you could use little flatback gems, your liquid pearls, you could ink around the edge, you could glitter it, you know, any number of things that you would want to do. So I just wanted to share this with you. This was the Sunday Share quick and easy video, Anna Griffin shutter cards, and how to replace a sentiment that you don't like and you turn it into something that you do like. So if I was another occasion, if I just wanted to say, what would I want to say on here? That, um, mm -hmm, I love you, adventure, I mean, just depends on, you know, it could just be a one word, but usually it's happy, whatever, the occasion. So some of you had asked about this, so I will put that, it's in the title, and so I could not remember where in my past 300 videos where the video was about showing you how to do this, but it's just very quick and easy to do. And what I like to do also is try to save some of the scrap pieces, so like this one here. Let me see if this is big enough. Okay, it's just, just barely, but I just want to show you real quick. Just for demonstration purposes. Okay, so it didn't didn't come out as dark, but just like I said, just for demonstration purposes. So I could have inked it a few more times and then it would have been better. And then now if you wanted to round the corners on this, then you could do that. If I wanted to ink it, I could do that. If I wanted to add, you know, any kind of a shimmery thing like the little stickles and then outline the words I could do that but I mean it's just that quick and easy but always make this piece and cut it to fit the wording so you can see I just have a little bit of, of, of a you know gap here a little bit of a gap at the top so, I mean, I could even take this and cut it down a little bit more if I wanted to. Just depends on the size of the piece that you're going on. And then, like on the inside piece, I had to make sure I cut it very close so that the two messages at the top, sending and wishes, well, yeah, it was sandwiched in between those two. So, I hope that helps, and I hope you can take this quick little video and use this tip. So this Sunday Share is another one of my quick 10 minute tips videos. How to take an embellishment that has wording on it you don't like and change it to something else. Quick and easy, just like that. So keep creating in the sunshine, stay safe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.